What's up Tweenerheads, welcome back to our channel, welcome back to Tweenerhead Tennis. If you are new to the channel, hi, how's it going? I'm Phil, and this is where we talk about tennis in a more casual way for you guys to figure out what's going on on tour as well as off the court as well. Today we're going to be recapping some of the finals that happened this weekend because in Asia not many people are paying attention to it because no one knows tennis is happening after the US Open. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of reporting, so I'm just going to get my nice microphone out and get my nice uh, reporting glasses on, so. And here we go. Audio jump. On the WTA side in Wuhan, Sabalenka was able to retain her title for the second straight year. She beat Allison Risk, who had an unbelievable run in China as well. This is the second time that Sabalenka and Risk have played against each other in China, and this is the second time Sabalenka has beat her. She's been one of the most inconsistent players on the tour so far, but she has been Every time she plays in China, she does really well. Coming into Wuhan, Sabalenka was 0-6 against top 10 players, even though she was a top 10 player herself. She beat Barty and Burton's on her way to winning her second straight Wuhan title. In Uzbekistan, Alison Van Oytbank wins her fourth ever WTA title in Uzbekistan, beating Romanian Serena Sirste. Some of these names, I don't. I, I feel like I can't even pronounce. I'm so sorry. For an international event, they had some pretty good veterans as well as up and comers. We had Anna Kalinskaya, we had Nicolescu, we had Kuzmova, the one seed who lost early in that tournament, as well as Tatiana Maria, a top 100 player from Germany. This weekend, we had two Chinese tournaments on the men's side. We had Chengdu and we had Zuhai. Let's start with Chengdu. In Chengdu, Karina Busta beats Alexander Bublik for his fourth ever ATP title. This was. Bublik's second ATP 250 finals this year, his first coming in Newport, Rhode Island, where he lost to John Isner. John Isner did participate in this tournament. He was the one seed, but lost in the first round after he received a bye. On his way to his fourth ATP title, Karina Busta beat the likes of Alba, Pear, Shapovalov, and Christian Garin to win his fourth ever title out on the ATP Tour level. I would also like to point out South African lucky loser Lloyd Harris, who lost to Bublik in the semifinal. So congratulations to him on an unbelievable run as a lucky loser. Now, not too far away, we had the Zuhai Championships where Alex Demonaira took his third ATP title of the year. He is 3-0 now in ATP Tour Finals this year alone. This year, he won Sydney, Atlanta, and now Zuhai. He is 3-0 in ATP Finals just this year alone. He beat Adrian Manorino to claim that title. And to be fair, for a 250 tournament, we had some unbelievable stars showing up. We had Sissipas, who unfortunately retired to Manorio. We had Kyrgios, who lost in the first round to Andrea Sepp. We had Gael Monfils who lost to Ramos Vinolas and then we had Borna Koric who lost to Demon Hour on his way to the final. On his way to title town, Demon Hour beat the likes of Milman, Murray, Koric, Batista Gut, and Manorino to win his third ATP title of 2019. That was your weekend recap. Hope to see you guys next time. My name's Phil, signing off for now. Wow, that's a, that's a new personality, I guess. Um, <laughs> guys, if you did enjoy this video, if you do want to see more recaps of what hap is happening on tour, make sure to leave a big like on this video as well as making sure you subscribe to Tweenerhead Tennis. We do have more stuff going on behind the scenes and content that we are posting on our social medias, so make sure to click the links down in the description below to follow those, as well as checking out our website at tweenerheadtennis.com. Hope to see you guys soon for the next video. Thanks, guys.